I'm not sure Fed policy is to blame for what happened at, at SVB. I think it's just idiot management. And that's why it's okay to let a bank fail if it's run by idiots. I'm okay with that. And frankly, at the end of the day, I, I had all kinds of companies with money in there, including Circle that had over $3 billion in there. But we would have got back 95 cents on the dollar anyways if the Fed hadn't rescued it. Now, this did cause some damage for USDC as a crypto. It broke a buck over the weekend. It went to 95 cents. And that's that's brain damage for the long term. But at the end of the day, we changed policy for the entire banking system without thinking about the unintended consequences. And it's really, really ugly. Now, that's changed policy for me as an operator with multiple platform companies. Here's our new mandate. Here's what we've decided to do, given what's going on here. We've told our CEOs, do not put more than 20% of our liquid assets in any one institution. I don't care who you know or how big they are. There's always the next black swan idiot manager in big and small banks. And we don't know who they are. So I only want 20% in any one institution. Secondly, very few people know this, but the Fed has already allocated 250 billion plus to small businesses that did not take advantage of it in what's called the Employee Retention Credit Program instituted in 2020 and 2021. Every single one of my companies now applied for that. That is up to $26,000 per employee towards payroll. This whole narrative started last week around payroll, around the companies inside the Silicon Valley Bank not being able to pay payroll. And yet practically none of them had already got the relief the government offered them with the ERC program. And so I've made it a mission now to tell every small business that's sitting around wondering, can I make payroll now that money's gotten really tight in the venture community? Well, yes, you can by tapping into what's already been given to you in the ERC. And you can go get it. You just have to find out if you qualify. You need at least five employees, and then you can. But these are things that no one knew about. And now the government coming bailing out this, this small bank that blew itself up. No one ever heard of Silicon Valley Bank and general population. Now they own it. Now the taxpayers have the liability of every single account. I think this is really, really difficult policy, and it's going to have major political implications. You can see this being divided by party line pretty soon.